Y el vecino grande. Good afternoon, sir. Very warm good afternoon. So shall we start the session, sir? Sure. Ma Hello? Yes. Yes, ma Yes. Yes, <laughs> A very good afternoon to each and everyone present here. I'm Ahalia from second year, your host for today. Today we have gathered here for another guest lecture by Dr. D. Surendran, CEO and founder, SKS Skills Partners Private Limited, Innovation Ambassador, SI, SPH Mentor of Runner Team. A very good afternoon, sir. Very good afternoon. To introduce the speaker of the day, Dr. D. Surendran has completed his doctorate in information communication in Anna University and has a teaching experience of 23 years in various reputed institutions of the CB, which, include, which includes Sri Ramakrishna Engineering College, KPR Institute of Engineering and Technology, Sri Krishna College of Engineering and Technology, PPG Institute of Technology, Government College of Technology, etc. His projects involve development of front end tools for uh, systematic grid services and Center for Advanced Computing Research and Education. Sir has successfully completed his DS, DST type project titled Design of Personal Assistance System for Azlimus Patients with a grant of 57.7 lakhs. He had published over 70 international journals and been part in five international and two national conferences. Sir had attended over 26 and organized 12 workshops. 
Sir has also participated as a resource person in nearly 80 workshops and conferences. Sir has also been awarded the TCS Best Project for the UK project titled GPS Tracker during 2014 to 2014 and Best Faculty Award in CSE Department 2015 and 2016. Over to you, sir. <coughs> Thank you very much uh, for the introduction. And uh, uh, I'm really, I'm uh, very honored uh, to be uh, present for this particular today's session. And thanks for uh, Professor uh, Janvi Vanla for contacting me and uh, hope uh, this is really uh, a, a pleasant thing to note uh, the startup activities around the world. All these things started in 19, 2019. And I was also a professor in the college here in a self-financing college. And then the government was starting something called as Institution Innovation Council. And all of a sudden, they came with a uh, new rocking idea. That's your, uh, uh, what do you call, Smart India Hackathon. And then till that particular point, uh, uh, they, I was also much like a professor, a teaching community person, much like you, not having a thought, thinking of uh, something like startup uh, is totally different from us. Uh, being academician, we don't have to worry about startups. Now, all these things, more specifically, in three or four years down the line, the spectra has changed. And now India is very noticed every corner of the world. Like India is uh, very vibrantly marching in this cape of uh, startups, all because of this Institution Innovation Council, Startup India scheme, Atmanirmar Bharat kind of thing. Now, today, uh, so I'll share a few of my uh, uh, like uh, understandings uh, uh, as being a part of the Institution Innovation Council member and get to get, know about um, like a kind of an uh, uh, idea about the startup ecosystem in India. So first before going to the session, uh, I just wanted to start with uh, an ins uh, a motivational uh, speech by Ratan Tataji. heard people say, this can't be done. It's your job to remove those myths and to get things done. In many ways, we have been critical of and saddened by what has or has not happened in our country. To a great extent, this has been a function of, we can't do this or it can't be done do not grow with a view that something can't be done and so should not be done. You, in the years ahead, are going to be leaders of this country and shaping the destiny of this country. You look at the world around you, where ideas were born, where individuals started in garages. Where did Microsoft, where did Apple, where did Amazon, where did Google, where did Facebook come from? They came from ideas that people felt something could be done. The technologies that don't require billions of dollars to establish, that don't require hundreds of acres to, to build, enterprises that are built on innovation that's in your mind, non-traditional, untried, and sometimes risky, but that make a big, big difference in the world of tomorrow. If you, if you speak or sit next to a Nobel laureate, he never tells you that he won a Nobel Prize. Other people tell you. So let humility be your best defense. They came from ideas that people felt something could be done and that they could make a difference. If you think you cannot make a difference, I'd say you very well can make a difference if you so desire. And you shouldn't merely consider yourself successful based on the prosperity you gain for yourself, but you should go home at night feeling satisfied if you have made a difference. That difference is something each one of us can make. 
we'll have failures and we've had frustrations, but it's a continued commitment that we have to the world around us. My enthusiasm in the new India of tomorrow continues to be there. I continue to feel the need to support enterprising young Indian engineers and scientists. And all of us should be very pleased to play this role and need to support this because all of us should be keen to unleash the Indian tiger. And we haven't done that as yet. So let's all put our hearts and souls behind the fact that this is going to be the new India of tomorrow. Uh, fine. Was that audible? Was that a uh, bit uh, thoughtful? Yes, yes sir. sir. Yes, sir. Fantastic. Fantastic. Okay. Nice. Uh, like uh, I'll start with this presentation. I've shared the link of the presentation with you. It's a very simple presentation. And uh, rest of the times, uh, I will I'll share a few uh, links and some readings about here things after the session is over that can be shared through your professor for your next reference. Right? Is it okay? Yes. Yes, sir. Fine. So here that will look into uh, how to start a startup. More specifically, why that we are talking about uh, startups. We are doing our graduation. After the graduation, you're just going to get a job and we are feeling comfortable with the job. What is uh, wrong in that? So why that we want to go, go to uh, uh, a startup? Right? Why is that uh, people, government and other words were were very uh, very vibrantly talking about this startup, startup, startup nowadays. Any idea? Okay. As usual, these kind of online uh, meetings, uh, it happens to be kind of uh, uh, clueless. Uh, I don't get a clue whether uh, you're following or not. Uh, am I am I uh, really uh, making interest or not? Okay, so uh, I'll I'll talk with this uh, for you to understand. Uh, I'll I'll go to this particular link and show you this particular link. So here, this is one statistics about Indian startups which has gone unicorn. Is it visible? Yes, is it sir, it visible? Is. Fantastic. Okay, so what do you mean by unicorn is a company? whose net worth happens to be one million dollar. So like 84,000 crores. If a company's worth is 84,000 crores, that company is called as a unicorn. Now, in the year 2015, we had 10 unicorns based off India, and 16 it was 2, and 17 it was 1, and 18 it was 10, and 19 uh, it was 7, and 20 it was 11, and 21 the unicorn count of India was 44 and in 22 it was 21. Yes. You're you're able to get a clue idea. A company whose net worth is one million dollars is called as a unicorn. In 21, there were 20, 44 unicorns based of India, and in 21 and uh, 22, there were successfully 21 unicorns based of India. Right? So more on these unicorns down here. Now you can just go and check. Now here you have, you can see one company called as onemg.com. It's basically of healthcare. People, uh, today you will be concerned about healthcare, right? You're basically from pharmaceutical background. You will be uh, scoping to look off this healthcare, yes? Or do you have any other interests? As usual, I'm clueless. Uh, is it visible? It is visible, sir. OK, so yes, this, sir, it this, is visible. OK, now you're getting an idea like why startup has been very uh, formed up on nowadays. Why everyone is talking about startup, startup, startup nowadays in India very specifically. Fine. So there are there are very, very potential opportunities uh, for 
<clears throat> companies to be uh, uh, developed in India and to be taken to the next level. Mul multiple factors that uh, determine the growth of a companies that are founded in India. Because the skilled manpower, uh, it happens to be a cradle of uh, most of the companies and uh, more successful companies and more graduates are here and manpowers of varied uh, skills can be tapped here. These are all the things, right? So now uh, with this, uh, I go to the uh, presentation now. So how to start a startup? Now we'll, with an idea, like, the thing is that to understand why are they to go to a startup? So being an entrepreneur gives you all your flexibility and gives a recognition that you are self-made and you're just going to create an opportunity. So now here uh, is that like uh, how to start a startup? Like you live in the future, you think you have a problem, you conceive that particular problem and you're just going to look the future and find what is missing in the world. And then you're just going to write it down and bounce the ideas around. And then you can just build a prototype and show this prototype to 100 people. And iterate on the prototype until it makes sense. And then it sends it is promising. You just go and find a co-founder and then register your company. Register your company as a corporate. And you just go for look for funding and build version one at each side. Launch the product and let everyone know you have made something. And follow up users are they coming back. Now then you have a branch as they are coming back and try to get a minimum of thousand users. And if you're not going to get them, launch again after iterating, launch until users stay. Now, for your example, a company called as very successful company called as Airbnb has launched three times. So this Airbnb is a very, very successful uh, startup of US in the years 2015 and 2016. The OYO models uh, of uh, is a modified form of this Airbnb. And if, you're, if a company is fine, well, is going with 1,000 users and more, you try to grow 5% a week. It's hard, but proven possible. And keeps growing for another four years. And that rate, you will reach the sections like uh, 25 million users, right? And now you are just going to be a unicorn. So this is a brief about how to go with the startup. So unicorns, I've told about this thing. And these are the most valuable unicorns of 2022, based of India. So now, uh, like thing. Now I'll directly go to uh, the ecosystem, uh, having given about what is a startup and, and and why why there are very potentials about going for a startup in India. Uh, more specifically, uh, the the government is very keen in uh, supporting this particular mission. Now I'll show you this portal, the Startup India at Geo in. This is a one-stop solution which gives about all the available features, provisions, support systems, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. More specifically, the ecosystem of the Indian startup base. Now, this is the link. So now here, uh, you can just go to this link. I'll share this particular link in the chat as well. Have any doubts, any queries so far? Okay, I've shared all of the links. Yeah, uh, all sure. the links. You can just look, look into that particular presentation also. I've shared the presentation link also. It can be, if it is uh, there, you can, for your reference, it will be there. Now, this is the uh, portal of the Startup India, right? Now, this portal is one stop uh, information bonanza or a treasure for all your startup needs. Now here, this is about the project of the Startup India. It talks about the Startup India initia, uh, initiative action plan and the starter kit which you get with this Startup India. And evolution of Startup India, it's a five-year report. It started in the year around 17, 18 around this five years annual report. And about the future and how you can use your Startup India logo and apply for Startup India logo and the newsletters fax and contact us. So this is your first step. Now, everyone uh, will have an idea and you don't know where to start with. So I have an idea, I want to make a company, I want to make a business. What are the things? I'm not sure. Where should I go? Where should I start? Whether I start a company, whether 
whether it is a public limited, whether it's a private limited, what are the legal issues? Um, then where should I have my office? Where, where I can start my uh, services? Where I can get funding? Uh, what are the legal formalities, etc., etc., etc.? A lot of the lot of questions come to your mind. Now, for all, all these things, this is one stop solution. Now, here, if you want funding, this gives you all the available uh, funding guides of all the central and government, central, I mean, central government and the uh, state government plans, and then investor connect on the seed fund scheme. And again, you have different other policies of schemes and policies about the government to support start. And then the market access, right? How you are just going to get to know about the market access? And the the MACU initiatives, like uh, to get to know um, who are all uh, there and uh, how you can connect with uh, the other initiatives. And then this tab gives about the resources, right? The startup kit, and you can start learning about your online learning about the startup and partner services for registered start startups and market research reports. Now, here is one thing like which gives you an idea about uh, uh, very specific to your market and what is the market research. And list of patent facilitators. If you just have uh, uh, like patent, you're just going to apply for uh, patents for all the facilitators and trademark facilitators. And you have a startup idea bank and startup India blank blogs and startup guidebook and other things. And you can showcase your startup and you can explore your startup programs and challenges. And you can go for your national startup awards. And then here you can connect with networks like. The mentors, uh, mentorship program, and other incubators, investors, accelerators, government bodies, and discussion forums. Right. So this is one-stop solution or one-stop shop for all your uh, requirements of uh, to get to known and to get the uh, informative and to get uh, all more insights about the startup. Right. Yes. Yes, sir. Fantastic. Now, now here is where uh, the brief. Uh, I'll go to uh, the next uh, uh, thing, telling about uh, the stages of uh, the startup, so that can help you uh, to get an idea. So now, can you see the stages of startup? Is it visible? Yes, sir, we can. Yeah. Yeah, so it is visible. Oh, you can see three major stages of startup development phases. There are, uh, the, the next one will show six or seven stages. We'll start with, we just like talk about these uh, three major uh, phases, and then we go to the uh, relevant of each one. Now, the first one that is negative two to negative one to zero is what do you mean by the pre startup phase and the migration from 0 1 to 2 is called as the startup phase from then onwards to 2 to 3 and onwards is called as the establishment phase right so uh, here in the pre startup phase you have you just do the ideation you just build the concept and then here is that you can commit here is the point you just say yes your ideas uh, seems to be promising, then you can just uh, try to go about it. Now, you are just going to do a commit, a very po positive affirmative commit, and then you're just going to plunge into your startup. Here is just going to infect it. Now, with the idea you have, you need to make a minimum viable product. It's called as an MVP, or whatever the thing is there, you know, you're supposing uh, if supposing your your idea is going, uh, any ideas you have in your mind? Any ideas from 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 the from the faculty or the students? Any idea you have? Even then, if you're not going to start, any clue idea which you think there is a gap where you can do? No idea. Uh, there are I mean, there are particular ideas, sir, but uh, 
just we are start we are in the starting phase no so we'll work on it by our third year <laughs> okay understood uh, do you want me to suggest any ideas yes 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 sir yes, sure. yes sir great great this this is a very good interaction fine now uh, uh, I, there are by minimum the, you can see a maximum number of diabetic patients in your family or some ways yes or no yes sir yes yeah, sir fantastic now what are the problem faced by diabetics diabetic patients they yeah, have some frequent urinations hmm, i'm not talking about you have to take the medication daily sir exactly more specifically you see these glucometers and test strips and the insulin drugs and all right yes Yes, sir. Yes. Sir. That is a very tremendous problem, right? There's a very tremendous potential over there, right? Now, as of now, uh, if if you think that uh, you make uh, a kind of uh, so uh, uh, a rough uh, calculation of a diabetic patient, how much he is spending for one month for the test strips and glucometer and for insulin, and you come out with a model where you're just going to make it a kind of a subscription model you're just going to give them an annual you're just going to give them an annual uh, uh, subscription where you will be giving them test strips insulins uh, at a bit of a dis discount price discounted price possible or not no Yes. Yeah, sir. It is possible. Yeah, sir. It is fantastic. Fantastic. You know, think of these kind of small problems. You should not be making any huge interventions. Okay. You can make small, small models. Right. Right. Supposing the thing is that people uh, like it. It's kind of an health health insurance. More specifically, it's kind of a health insurance concept. Fine. So this is where you will start with. This is where you will start with. Are supposing you say there are some kind of laboratories, testing laboratories around your place, right? Uh, if uh, you make a, what you call a connect of all these uh, the diagnostic uh, centers, and you give them orders from the patients, like your uh, Swiggy, Ola, Uber, yes, yeah, and telemedicine. Okay. Yeah, yeah, and telemedicine. Okay, you have seen about telemedicine, right? Already there are potential steps away. Like these kind of things, you can work around. You can start working around. Fine. So, so be anything, any small uh, idea or a service which you think it is potential, you can just like go and get it. Now, with this idea, I just wanted to make a minimum viable product. This is the next step. Next step, that from the commitment, I'm just going to validate whether my idea is valid or not. Then you're just going to make this particular product market fit or not. Now from here, you've made this your product, and now you're just going to give it to the uh, market, and few users have started using it. Now you need to grow it. So this is your growth phase. This is also called as your establishment phase. So more specifically, you have a pre-startup phase, startup phase, and the growth phase. Fine. Got it. Yes or no? Yes, sir. Fine. Now, here, uh, this gives a very clear idea about uh, what are all the things you can just get from the government, how we can just go and get the support, what are the schemes and policies that are allowable, and what are the how we can just go and get the market. And what are all the competitions are there you want to do, and where you can pitch and get your ideas, etc. And all kind of supports in each of these phases, either you are in pre-startup phase, other you are in your startup phase, or in your growth phase. The Startup India provides all linkages to all your needs. More specifically, now here you can just uh, I'll just come to this portal now. Now this is visible, right? Yes. Okay, so here you can just go and find this particular tab.
to get to know about your mentors. Okay. Now here, this search option provides you a very fantastic customizable filter-based search where you can just go and search your startups, the mentors, investors, accelerators, corporates, incubators, and government bodies with your filters. You can go by industry-wise. You can search by industries. Or you can search by sectors. Or you can search by stage, whether it is ideation phase, validation phase, early traction phase, or scaling phase. Or you can just go and find based on the winner badges. Right. You can just go find what are the inner uh, challenges. And you can just go and search by state wise. Or you can just go and search by city wise. Fine. Now, here you're just going to. If supposing you're just going to have uh, to have a startup and you're just going to hear, say, Healthcare. Now, one second, we'll go to the industry and then we'll come here. Here I'll type. Healthcare and life sciences, right? There are 170 mentors. There, they, they can help you out in if any of your startups based on healthcare and life sciences. Uh, you pretty much come in this particular category, right? Okay, so you there? Am I audible? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yeah, you are following me? Yes, sir. We are following you. Okay, yes, sir. Okay, fine. If you have any questions in mid, you can just interact. You can you can interrupt me. I'm very well. I'll be happy to uh, get queries because queries are the first point where you are start thinking and you put your thinking into action. Am I boring? Okay. Is that is that bit? No, uh, sir. Useful? No, sir. Yeah, it is okay. very useful, sir. Thank you. Fine. Now, this is the very first step. I, I, I know uh, the student mindset and I know the faculty's uh, problem. Now, every now and then, when I was teaching, when I just we started with this Institution Innovation Council, it was really very uh, degenerative, right? Because we don't know where we are. Any new thing which you start will be just like you're lost in a jungle. You don't know where the roads. But you keep on beating the bush, you make your track and find your road or you can just like uh, tell it others way also got it right so here you can just go on these are all authorized by the government of india the startup india schemes they have enrolled by creating their profiles now here is one person uh, arpan ghosh from bhuvaneshwar birender sasnal from bhopal he is into a healthcare and life sciences and uh, uh, healthcare licenses, Pita Raj from Faridabad, Haryana. So there are 170 uh, mentors who can help you out with uh, uh, with your with your ideas and kind of stuff in the in the field of healthcare licenses. So Abhil Kumar Parashar, Addison Apu, and Pankaj Sarda. So if you want to get to know more about uh, the particular mentor, you can click on that. So I have a slow internet connection. Yeah. So there is a program called as Marg. Now this uh, professor, like uh, uh, mentor. Because Pankaj Sharda is a mentor approved by Mark and his mentor ID is a finance and systems professional with 30, 35 years of experience in strategy, digital transformation, finance system, and risk management. Uh, his focus industries are education, healthcare, and life sciences, human resources, uh, media, and entertainment. Focus sectors coaching, e learning, 
education, technology, other skill development, and other things you can you can view. So these are all the focus sectors. And uh, these the connections accepted, they are given 14%. And uh, you can you can see the other connections. Right. So every information, like you can connect, but you can connect. Uh, with the thing, they have given the uh, uh, mail ID for your connect. You can just connect the thing through this particular portal and other means also. So if you have any success stories, it will be displayed for you. Fine? Okay, sir. Okay. Now, this is uh, one thing to get uh, to know about the mentors. Now, I just wanted to know about the fundings. Now, here is this. I just go to the Startup India Seed Fund scheme. It tells about you how to apply, where to apply, and call all things about this particular schemes, right? And how this is works, right? This is for an already established startup. Now, if supposing you want to get to know about, if you get to know about the schemes and policies, right? These are all the schemes and so policies. And here, very specifically, if you want to know about your regional uh, startup initiatives. Right. So, as with today, of 31 of 36 states in Union territories have a dedicated startup policy. 27 of these startup policies were developed after the launch of Startup India Initiative in 2016. There is at least one DBTT recognized startup present in each of the 36 states and Union territories, and 656 host at least one DBTT recognized startup. Sir, what so is here, the DPIIT, sir? Department for Promotion of Industry and Internal Trade. Now, here you can just go and look this DPIIT. Once again. Now, is it visible? Yeah, yes, yes, it is visible. Okay. Now here, the government, uh, once you start, go for go for registering with a startup, you can apply for this DPATT. Once you do this DPATT, there are a lot of benefits. They will be giving tax waiver for the first five years and kind of a lot of uh, supports are provided. Right? So tax exemption, so income tax exemptions, and Startup India Hub, you'll be a member of Startup India Hub. And uh, there are, uh, if, if your company is not going fine, you can wind up, the dilution is very easy. And uh, uh, you, you want to apply for some IP or related to your company or a startup, they facilitate you. Like, and the next thing is the public procurement. You just go for um, getting them tenders and auctions kind of things. that are exempt from deposits and peer turnover. And then the next one is uh, like, it gives you a platform for you to collaborate and to avail all these steps in the one stop, right? And uh, I will, I will, I will share this also in the chat window for then, like, you can just like need that you can just refer it. So this is your DPTT recognition, right? And small and decent development of fund funds, uh, it has provided like total 3,583 funds are there. Even if you get for your loans also, it will be there. Like, so these are all the benefits of DPTT, right? Yes? Is it okay? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay. Good. Now, uh, you come to the various schemes, like, uh, do you have any, uh, like, I can see only uh, girl students, do you have any uh, boys over here? Sir? Do, do you have any boys in your campus? I can see only girls. Is it a uh, women college? Yes, sir. It's, it is co like, it's a co-education. Uh, like uh, so far, I've not heard any any. Uh, yes, sir. Eighty percent of our female students only. Oh, fine. Everywhere throughout the world. 
Sir, okay, sir, we are there. Yeah, yes, yeah, sir. yeah. Good. Great guys. Great guys. Uh, is it going fine? Is it is is it going fine? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Cool? Is this not a terrible afternoon? It is useful. No, sir. It is very pleasant. <laughs> so usually post lunch sessions will be very difficult uh, to handle, uh, more specifically, right? How is the monsoon over there? Here it is raining. The monsoon has started. How about that? It is very horrible. Fantastic, fantastic. So it's great that I wanted to see uh, the interactions from you. I can see only thirty-four people here. Is it the strength? No, sir. Okay. Actually, the strength is very much high, but due to the some these heavy rains, there is technical issues going on, sir. Fine, fine. Of course, fine. This is very fantastic and startup. Like uh, here, uh, this is a beginning. I can just give you uh, a small uh, uh, glitch or what you call a glimpse of what is there. But this has to grow. Now, from my particular point, startup is a culture. It's kind of a culture. Like uh, many of these, uh, like uh, in Indian education so far, I have not seen any kind of a thrust on or insistent on the students to do anything. Uh, like kind of a business kind of stuff. Now here is where we are we are not good in your money making or economics and fund handling and about the markets and the economies. We have not uh, taught, or rather we don't learn them. That is the major thing which I think it is lacking in the student community or 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 the universities or colleges where we have a huge gap. So. This startup India mission is to bridge that particular gap. Fine. And the thing is that, like when we talk about startups, uh, any idea like what is the success rate of startups? Any idea? What is the success rate of startups nationally or internationally, globally? If some five companies, a hundred companies are started in a year. Uh, how many there are the chances of uh, the company's survey? Maybe two years, five years, ten years down the line. Now, how many companies uh, like survey? Any clue? Two to three. Great, fine. It's less than two. It's less than two. It's in fractionals, maybe in fractionals. More specifically, it's not in even in the single digits. Then why people are talking about startups? Right. See, this is where I've told you. I shown you here. Uh, like this is the uh, very promising uh, fact and figure to know that, like, uh, like with which, like, you can see uh, how many sectors with which most unicorns are there. Yes. More specifically, uh, you can see the e-commerce platform, like it is contributing to 23 unicorns, and fintechs with 22, and entrepreneurs tech with 20, and consumer services with nine, and media and entertainment seven, edtech is seven, and the logistic is six, health tech is five, travel tech is three, and transport tech is two, deep tech is one, energy tech is one. So this is my uh, the unicorns by segment uh, over India, right? So now we look with investors. Uh, who are all uh, the people who has invested? So this company called a CQA, uh, CQA Capital India. This is again a uh, US-based CQA investment, and this is a soft bank. This is Innovan Capital, and this is Trifecta Capital Advisors, Axel, Falcon Edge. Steve, uh, Steadview, and then CQ, and then DST Global, Nexus, and uh, the Norwest Ventures. Now, here on year, this is the year on year in unicorn growth. Uh, the clients with more number of unicorns. The city Bangalore has maximum number of unicorns with 40. Delhi contributes for next 35, and Mumbai with 17, and Pune with 7, and Chennai with 5, and Hyderabad has 2. Now, South has more specifically 7. Uh, 7 plus this. Uh, this 40, 47, even Bangalore comes in south. Right. Yes. Here is that, like there is a possibility. You can just go and search for this particular company. Uh, 
uh, ideas about which uh, the thing is that uh, uh, to be listed as unicorn, right? Uh, Inmobi, that's the first company that became unicorn in 2011. The ad tech startup was founded in 2007 by Naveen Tiwari, uh, Mohit Saxena, Amit Gupta, Narai Singhal. It has raised moreover $320 million till date. And uh, the, the question why I was asking about like, uh, do you have uh, you know, boys and girls? Now here, uh, even for funding uh, or more specifically, the schemes, there are a lot of women entrepreneurship schemes, right? So is it visible, right? So in your uh, yes, uh, tab, uh, in your tab, which gives you the, the female founders, women's trailblazing innovation, so this uh, is exclusively for uh, the women entrepreneurship, right? So there's a state-based data policy for women, right? And these are all the various schemes uh, by central government and these schemes by women, by banks. You can just go and have a look at it, right? So here, uh, I've talk, talked about this state-based policies. I started and I'm not going to mid have shifted to another question. Fine. So here, if you are in any particular state of residence and you want to know about uh, your state, then you can just go and get this particular uh, look here. About uh, which particular state specifically, this is that. So Andhra Pradesh, it gives you that there are 1,733 DPAPT organized startups, of which 818 are women led and startups or women entrepreneurs. Uh, the key areas, uh, construction and engineering is the key area. So the model agency and the office address, etc., is being given. Right. So you can see the policy initiatives, you can download the uh, policy documents also. Right. So Likewise, you can just get to know about uh, each of these particular startup initiatives of the 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 the, the state wise of which particular uh, 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 group there are now there are startup initiatives district wise nowadays you can you are available with district wise where you can just connect with them for any kind of supports. Fine. You have all almost all the information about anything which you wanted to know about that thing, right? So now I wanted to know about uh, like the policies, the government schemes and policies. Now this link, this link tells you about the various initiatives by the study ministries and departments. Ministry wise, you have uh, the schemes and then you can just go and find these particular schemes and which uh, uh, sector it's, it, it's covering and what ideas you need. And this is the Ministry of Information Technology, and this is Department of Science and uh, Technology, and this is your BIRAC, and this is your ATAL. Now, for my idea, BIRAC uh, supports more penetration into life sciences and healthcare kind of things. Right. So here we just give the BIRAC both for startups. Now here, uh, this is the side of BIRAC, and uh, this gives the BIRAC support for the startups. So you have a scheme called as EUA. For UG students and Earl's wife, UIC, University Innovation Clusters, then BIRAC Thai Entrepreneurship Award, equity funding, that's the seed funding, and the LEAP and the AS funding, and product commercialization program, and the BIRAC Regional Center, uh, and then IPR and Technology Management Cell, and then Ignition Grant Scheme and SPURS, and Early Translation Accelerator. So you can just go and find each of these uh, details from them. Fine. I'll, I restrict uh, to the, the, the licenses in healthcare because of your pharma. It doesn't mean that like uh, I, I don't uh, uh, constrain you to this particular scope. Since your uh, uh, graduation happens to be in, in life sciences, I restrict. Make sense? Yes, sir. Okay, fine. So here you can just go and more specifically 
look into uh, this particular schemes page or the maintenance page and then select your specific uh, interest and then go with it. So what kind of, uh, so this is for your drugs and pharmaceutical research. So this is for Ministry of Science and Technology and then Biotechnology Industry Partnership Program, this is BAPC. And you can just like browse and get to find the insights very specifically, uh, hoping scalls of uh, uh, the corresponding uh, ministry or the segments. Now here also you can search by ministries and departments. You can just search here about the ministries. Ministry of uh, Science and Technology, Ministry of uh, MSME, Ministry of Defense, Ministry of Development, Ministry of Textiles, I can see Ministry of Health again. Okay, so here you can you can go for search. Now you can just give your filters and check. Okay, now having seen about this, you can just like go and find uh, the 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 Mark mentorship program also. Now, how you can be a mentor if, if, if you are interested, how you can make yourself as a MARG uh, mentor, a startup mentor. So, this is also available. Then, this is your resources page. So, this is your startup India kit. And here, it gives you most of uh, the documents that are needed. Uh, this gives you the startup guidebook. So this will be the first thing which you think it can be able. Uh, it gives you more ideas about uh, where to start and how to do all this stuff. So this is the MARG scheme. Uh, here you can just get a mentor, you can go on search for your cohort programs and uh, you can contact. So here is also, it's, it's, it's jointly done by Ministry of Commerce and Industry and Department, of, Department for Promotion of Industry and Internal Trade. So just, you can just go and get a mentor. You can just go and get a mentor specific for any of your domains, right? So who can get a mentor, uh, uh, you can check whether eligible, the benefit of mentorship, how to participate, etc., etc., etc. So mentorship, advisory, assistance, resilience, growth. So this is what you mean by MARG. So if this is the initiative. I will put this link also as well in the chat window for your reference. So slowly, you can just like, so this is the uh, startup uh, kit, starter kit for building entrepreneurs, visionaries and dreamers. It's a 45 page long uh, uh, like book, which, which gives you very brief insights about what are the things that are available. So what are the things the Startup India benefits? What are the Startup India portal brings with? What is the startup? What is DPHD recognition? And then your glossary and startup funding cycle. So all these things are available in this particular document. I will give this document link as well. Is there a provision to share the files here? Can we share any files here? You can attach. You can check. Oh, fine. I don't have anything with this link. Okay. Now, uh, I've briefly given about uh, the things, uh, what are all the things like that are available, the resources, like it gives about the L&D program, step by step of starting a business, and the schemes, the various schemes, and state startup policies, it's again a single point to access all uh, policies by respective state governments. Uh, the, the, the free applications, benefits, legal and banking support, ecosystem partners, 
knowledge banks, tools and templates, exclusive nation programs, networking and idea banks. All these things are available here for, for, for the thing. As you as you've asked, like, these are all the uh, benefits of uh, going yourself the, through the channel of what you call the Startup India portal. Right. You can just like do your self certification. Uh, like there are once you start up a company, it, it needs to be certified. And uh, now the, the the startup India movement has made uh, this certification made easy by your self startup. You can do your sorry self certification. You can do your certification of your own. And there are complaints to labor law, and for a period of three to five years, right? Okay, so this document will give you a very fine idea about like where to start and what are the things that are available, etc. Cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Right. So these are all the various uh, uh, schemes I've shown you, and uh, these are all the references uh, I like share with. And uh, here, uh, to get the poster about anything that is happening. You can just go and uh, look into this your story and INC. So I'll, I'll share that particular link also. Any queries? No story, no, no queries at all. Students are there? Are you listening? Yes, sir. Okay, it's 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 very terrible size silence. I thought whether I have connected or not. So this is one portal called as your viewer stories. Uh, like uh, it gives you all your information about the startups and kind of uh, things that are happening at all, right? Is it visible, right? Yourstory.com. Yes, yeah, yes, sir, visible. Yeah, I've yes, given sir. the link also. Okay, then uh, you have an, another portal called as INC42. So this also gives uh, various uh, like uh, insights about uh, the startup stories, fundraising, etc., etc., etc. I follow the same link again. Sorry. I think I've kept my time. And as usual, I should come with the last slide with thanking you. Any queries? Have I have I have I covered? Uh, as thing with yes sir uh, was that bit useful yes sir yes sir okay then um, just really uh, happy that at least i had uh, something to share with you and it is useful uh, if you want to get connected with me so this is all whereabouts about me is it visible Visible, sir. Yes, sir. Yeah, this is my mail ID, and I'm available in WhatsApp and Telegram and LinkedIn. Uh, if if you want to connect with me for any kind of assistance regarding the startups and tech related stuff, I'm very always happy to get connected. And uh, once again, I thank uh, the management and uh, the, the fellow faculty members and students for giving me an opportunity to address the young minds, the future entrepreneurs, and I dedicate this particular session to all my teachers and my gurus with whom and what to do. Thank you all very much. Thank you. Sir. Thank you Thank so you. much, sir. Welcome. Welcome. Pleasure is mine. Thank you, sir. Welcome. Thank Professor Janvi, ma'am. Sir, yes, sir. Uh, I'd like to get your feedbacks. If at all, you can collect anything and if you can let me know anything can I need to modify and kind of stuff so that I can better modifying the presentations later. Okay, sir. Thank you, sir. Thank you so much for sparing your valuable time and sharing it's a, a valuable it's a pleasure. to our students.
yeah pleasure and i just like uh, love to uh, be back with you for other session folks as well sure sir definitely okay okay sir thank you okay, so much okay thank you very much i'll i'll just take a leave wish you all a great success and good luck thank you sir the support yes, sir. always for any kind of endeavors regarding the startup and tech stuff thank you sir thank you any, so much Sure. Any kind of connections helps, and kind of uh, ideas, and kind of if you want to be posted about the competitions, etc., etc., and do. Okay, sir. Thanks for the opportunity. Thank you, Sandeep. Yeah. Happily signing off. Thank you.